Hi guys, my name is Robin and I'll compare MailerLite and ConvertKit in this video. So before we jump into the content, you probably still have questions after watching this video. But don't worry, you can ask anything down below in the comments and I will answer every single question you have. I promise. So let's start at the beginning and that is what email marketing tool is the best? Is it MailerLite or is it ConvertKit? And, and the answer is... So the short answer is that ConvertKit is better. ConvertKit understands the email marketing marketing game better than MailerLite. And ConvertKit software is much more user-friendly. But you must know that I did switch from ConvertKit to MailerLite last year in 2021. And why? I will explain that in a minute. And you must know that I'm not just someone on the internet saying this. I do have a long-lasted experience with both tools. So in 2018, I migrated my list from MailChimp to ConvertKit. And if you add up all my payments, I've spent close to $10,000 as a ConvertKit customer. So you can see it over here. So this is my ConvertKit account. So my old ConvertKit account because I'm not using ConvertKit any longer at the moment. But as you can see over here, I signed up for ConvertKit on September 14, 2018. And then I started paying them every single month. As you can see over here, so on August 25, 2020, for example, I decided to pay for a full year up front because ConvertKit does offer a discount, but more on that later. So as you can see over here, I still kept paying them every single month. And then from August to November, somewhere around those lines, I decided to switch to a different email marketing platform, which was MailerLite. But as you can see, this is my ConvertKit dashboard. So I've sent close to 1 million emails in total. Uh, I generated uh, 138,000 euros with, uh, with my ConvertKit accounts. I had an average open rate of 60%. So I definitely spent some time inside ConvertKit. So and then last year, I switched to MailerLite. And here you can see MailerLite's invoice for 15,000 to 20,000 subscribers for one year back in 2021. So here you can see the three invoices. So that's this one over here. So this is the first invoice for up to 1,000 subscribers for a year. As you can see, this was in August 2021. And this is the second invoice for uh, one full year, 15,000 to 20,000 subscribers. So the prices did change uh, in the beginning of this year. So it is, more, it is more expensive right now, but this was the price back then. And then there was another invoice of 250 euros in October 2021, where I upgraded my plan to 20 to 25,000 subscribers. So I own one of the most popular websites about training puppies in the Netherlands. And although I was a happy ConvertKit customer, I chose to leave them for the email marketing tool MailerLite in 2021. So I made the switch because MailerLite can do a similar job for my business for less money. That's basically the bottom line. And what I'm about to say is very important. So make sure to pay close attention to the next line. Pay attention, this is important. So some people say, I don't care what my email marketing tool costs because it is highly profitable if you do it right. And I'll repeat this line because I find it really important that you understand what I'm about to say. So some people say, I don't care what my email marketing tool costs because it is highly profitable if you do it right. So in my opinion, this statement only holds when your business meets one or multiple of the following criteria. So the first criteria is your customer's lifetime value value is $1,000 or more. So the second one is your business market penetration is low and your target audience is enormous, meaning there is so much to win by working hard and smart. So my situation back then, and it is still right now, so my situation, so my customer's lifetime value sits around $100, so not at $1,000 or more. So it's a Dutch business, as you can see over here on this website. So I wrote and published these four books myself. So here you can see one of the books. Uh, they are available in a paperback and an ebook and an uh, audio book. So this is a Dutch business and many dog owners in the Netherlands already know of my brand, meaning the upside of pouring in massive marketing efforts to, for example, gain more visitors to my website isn't that high. So I only spend around one to five hours per week on this business while it comfortably sustains my lifestyle. So in conclusion, I look for ways to cut costs with this business, to have a higher profit margin in this business. So having a higher profit margin means I can invest more money into assets for financial freedom and the option of early retirement. And obviously I also have more money to spend myself if I cut costs. So cutting costs on email marketing to ditch convert kit for MailerLite 
was just one of the decisions I made for a higher monthly profit margin. And the next thing what I'm about to say is also very important. So this doesn't mean ConvertKit isn't a great tool, nor does it mean that you shouldn't consider ConvertKit. It all depends on your business, your situation and your goals. So again, ConvertKit is a great tool. And who knows, I choose to switch back to ConvertKit one day in the future or what is more likely, I will start using ConvertKit someday for one of my other projects that do hold one or more of that criteria I mentioned earlier. So having a thousand dollar customer lifetime value or more, or having a high potential for your market penetration. So please make sure to do your due diligence. For example, a good way is to list what you believe is important in finding your email marketing tool. So for example, in my situation back then, the price uh, was on my list, obviously, but it was high on my list of importance. But so were email automation features, landing pages features, opt-in features, opt-in form features, etc. So user friendliness wasn't on the top of my list. It was somewhere on the bottom of the list. Obviously, I care about user friendliness, but it wasn't on the top of the list. Anyhow, I wanted to spend some time on why I choose to, to leave ConvertKit for Mail Lite, so you have a better understanding why I chose that decision. But anyhow, let's have a more in-depth look and compare Mail Lite's and ConvertKit's pricing. So on our website, we added this table for you guys. So this table you see right now on the screen. So this first row in this table over here is Mail Lite's growing business plan. So the first row on the table, that is this plan, the growing business plan, the first paid plan. So that is the first row over here. So the prices you see in this table are annual prices for the number of subscribers you see at the top. So these are the number of subscribers over here. So 500 subscribers, 1000 subscribers, uh, up to 20,000 subscribers. And the discounts you'll get for paying annually are included in these prices. So these are annual prices for using MailerLite and ConvertKit. And if you didn't know so already, MailerLite offers a 15% discount when paying yearly and non-profit organizations receive a 30% discount. So these prices for Mail Alliance do have a 15% discount already calculated uh, in these numbers. So ConvertKit offers two months for free, so a little bit more, so 17% discount when paying yearly. So ConvertKit doesn't offer any discounts for non-profits as far as my knowledge goes. So I included these discounts in this table because paying yearly for an email marketing tool makes sense since email marketing is a long-term strategy and not something you do for a month or two. So the table is by default sorted on 500 subscribers on the best price. So if you click on this, so this is the default. So for 500 subscribers, MailerLite's growing business plan is the, is the best price. So $108 for an entire year if you're on the MailerLite's growing business plan uh, for up until 500 subscribers. And if you wanna know what plan has the best price for let's say 1,000 subscribers or 1,500 subscribers, you just click on that. So 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 subscribers. So you click on it and then you'll see the best price for up until that subscriber number. So as you can see, this price comparison is one of the most simplistic ones because the table stays the same for every subscriber number. So the growing business plan for MailerLite is always the cheapest plan. Then in the second place is MailerLite's advanced plan. So if we switch to MailerLite's pricing plan, so that is the advanced plan of MailerLite. So then on the third place, we have the ConvertKit Creator plan. And then on the fourth place, we have the ConvertKit Creator Pro plan. So this is ConvertKit's Creator plan, and this is the Creator Pro plan. But as you can see, it doesn't really matter what subscriber number I click, it is always the same. So MailerLite is always cheaper than ConvertKit, and same goes for the advanced plan of MailerLite. So I've calculated the average difference between ConvertKit's Creator plan so that is the uh, so that is this one and the mail alliances growing business plan so i've i've calculated the differences between those uh, numbers and my conclusion is that convertkit's creator plan so this creator plan is $435 more expensive on average annually, so including those discounts, then MailerLite's growing business plan. So ConvertKit's Creator Pro plan, so these prices, is $658 more expensive on average annually, so including those discounts as well, than MailerLite's advanced plan. So this is MailerLite's advanced plan pricing. And do know that these averages are calculated based on the prices of up to 20,000 subscribers and annual prices. So 
up to 20,000 subscribers, as you can see over here. And although it might not seem that much of a higher price, it's often a price increase of more than 100% when choosing ConvertKit over MailerLite. You can see it over here, for example. So $108 per year for using MailerLite for up to 500 subscribers. And for ConvertKit, you pay $290 for up to 500 subscribers. And same year for up to 10,000 subscribers. So the MailerLite's growing business plan costs $560. $4 per year and ConvertKit's creator plan, so the first paid plan of ConvertKit, costs $1,190. So in a nutshell, so although ConvertKit's tool is way more user-friendly, if a low price is important to you, MailerLite is your choice. And you don't have to be scared to lose important features in my opinion, because most things you can do with ConvertKit are possible with MailerLite as well, just not as user-friendly and fast. And I hear you thinking, what should I do? What should I do? Well, if you plan to spend multiple hours every single month inside your email marketing tool, you should go with ConvertKit because of its user friendliness. But on the other hand, if you're on a budget or don't plan to spend lots of time doing your email marketing, go with MailerLite. So in my situation, I needed a handful of landing pages, opt-in forms, and automations. Once I've set it up, I don't spend much time inside my email marketing tool. Therefore, I went with MailerLite. So next up, we have the free plan. So here I created the table. So here we have ConvertKit, here we have MailerLite, and here we see the features. So both tools offer a forever free plan, as you can see. So what about maximum monthly emails? So how many emails can you send per month? So ConvertKit has unlimited monthly emails, which is really nice. So MailerLite does have a limit. It has 12,000 monthly emails, which is still really nice if you compare that to its peers. So then we have email automation. So MailerLite offers email automation inside its free plan which is generous. MailerLite is one of the few email marketing tools that offer email automation inside its free plan. ConvertKit doesn't offer any email automation inside its free plan. And for the ones that don't know, here is an example of email automation inside MailerLite. When someone joins your newsletter, you can automatically send that person emails over multiple weeks and months. So this isn't possible with ConvertKit's free plan. If you want to create a so-called evergreen newsletter, you have to subscribe to its paid plan of ConvertKit. So for example, this is my MailerLite dashboard. And as you can see in the automation tab over here, you can see that I have eight active automation workflows. And this month I've sent 33,000 automated emails. And as you can see in this graph over here, I made 2,200 euros in August, for example, with automation. So it is all on autopilot and I made that revenue. So this is my old ConvertKit dashboard. And as you can see, I made a total of 138,000 euros uh, with my email marketing inside ConvertKit up until 2021 last year and most of the revenue is definitely made by automations and then we have the maximum subscribers so both tools offer a maximum subscriber number of thousands so a maximum of thousand subscribers is really nice for a free plan so then we have the custom domain feature so the disadvantage of MailerLite's free plan is that you cannot add your custom domain which is possible with ConvertKit's free plan so as you can see over here ConvertKit does offer the option for you to add your custom domain domain with a free plan. So for example, if you want to add a custom domain with MailerLite, you must subscribe to its first paid plan. And to make sure you understand, this is MailerLite's default URL if you create a landing page or website, and this is a custom domain. So a custom domain increases trust, which might result in more sales or subscribers. Then what about support? So ConvertKit doesn't offer any support for its free plan users, whereas MailerLite provides email support. So any help is welcome especially if you're new to email marketing. So it's really nice that MailerLite offers email support for their free plan users. So then we have some forms and pop-ups and landing pages. So ConvertKit offers unlimited landing pages and pop-ups. MailerLite offers unlimited forms and pop-ups as well, but they do have a limit on the maximum number of landing pages you can create, which is 10. So then we have email design templates. So ConvertKit and MailerLite offer both a wide range of templates in terms of landing pages and sign-up forms. But to access mail 
Elias's landing page templates, you must subscribe to its paid plan, whereas ConvertKit offers all templates to its free users already. So to conclude, ConvertKit understands the email marketing game better than MailerLite, in my opinion. So furthermore, its software is just way more user-friendly. But here's the deal, ConvertKit is more expensive than MailerLite. And initially, it's an annual difference of a couple of hundred of dollars. But remember that the more subscribers you have, the more you pay extra for ConvertKit compared to MailerLite. So it can be a $7,000 to $8,000 difference annually when you reach the 300,000 subscriber mark. Do you want to have a more detailed look at how ConvertKit and MailerLite differ in terms of their features? So first, you can check my MailerLite and ConvertKit tutorials here on YouTube as well. But I also would like to refer you to my in-depth blog post where I cover all the differences between MailerLite and ConvertKit. And don't worry, there's a lovely table of contents you can use to skip to the parts you find interesting. So for example, if you click on the pricing tab over here, so let's say that's your interest, you can click on it and it will scroll automatically to that part of the blog post. You know how it works, right? So if you're interested in the free plan, you can skip to that part, or maybe you're more interested in the email marketing automation. You can easily skip to it. So in this blog post, I cover all their features and I always explain the bottom line. So who's the winner? So the winner here is ConvertKit, for example. The winner here is ConvertKit again. The winner here is ConvertKit again. So as said before, ConvertKit is just way more user-friendly. So ConvertKit will be, in most cases, the winner inside this blog post in terms of the features. So I'll leave a link down below in the description to this blog post. So make sure to check it out. Also, please leave your question below in the comments if you have any. I will answer any question you have quickly so you can move on and start working on your business, I promise.